fighting fires on the water. New tonight, a Tri-Cities Volunteer Fire Department has plans to add a fire boat on Watauga Lake to respond when emergency calls arise. However, that plan requires funding to become a reality. Chantel Batista spoke with the captain about those plans and what's next for the department. We're looking to add this particular boat to our fire department and uh, to add a level of safety that we don't have at this time. Mark Dunn of the Elk Mills Pogi Fire Department says they would like to equip this 27 foot Maycraft boat with a mounted pump, first responder medical bag and a deck gun to make it the official Watauga Lake fire boat. We'll have a light bar on top for uh, emergency purposes. We'll have radios. We can push that pump off and they can shoot water from a whole different angle and we can attack the fire from multiple angles. Dunn says the fire boat could help stop fires that spark offshore like the Fish Springs Marina fire in 2012. But all of these plans depend on monetary contributions in order to buy the boat and, and equipment to go with to it. The boat would be docked at Pioneer Landing Marina, the owner of that marina willing to help out in any way possible. And if, if one of the volunteers aren't available either with uh, Dry Run Fire Department or the Elk Mills Fire Department, myself or my son would be certified with the boat just to get it to the to the access point. If the proposed 130-acre Watauga Lake development comes into fruition, another concern would be adding more people and increasing the possibility of needing emergency assistance. There's going to be more people on the lake. There's going to be more activity, and it's just a it's it's a a no-brainer. You need something like this if you got a bunch of people out with big boats. Safety. You know, we'll be able to take care of anything. I mean, this is this is going to be really neat, um, and it, it's it's going to add to tourism. It'll add to the value. The boat will be on display all day tomorrow at the Pioneer Landing Marina. The fire department has set up a GoFundMe account and is asking for donations. In order to reach their goal, $25,000. We'll have that link up on our website, WJHL.com. Sarah?